Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone else who's come along to visit my channel. I have to give you another, um, uh, what do you call it, recall on a couple of items. Now, uh, I seem to be having a little more trouble than usual reading tonight. I don't know why, but I'm going to do my best. Let's see how big I look. <laughs> Yeah, I hate getting up so close. But anyway, here we go. If you bought this at Walmart, throw it away now. As coronavirus cases continue to surge across the U.S. I wonder, according to who? Uh, U.S. Americans are stocking up on groceries again. And there, that's a link you could click on. And if you did your big shop this weekend at Walmart and bought one item in particular, the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, says you have to get rid of it or risk serious sickness. A recall was issued after a batch of lettuce... Again, the lettuce, now I'm so afraid to eat salad, I won't even buy the stuff, none of it. I mean, you know, I pray over my food, and if I bought some that nothing was said about a recall, and I prayed over it, I'm sure I'd be fine. I just, I don't know why I think I'd be afraid of it, I, I don't ever forget pray over my food. Anyway, let's move on. A recall was issued after a batch of lettuce sold through Walmart tested positive for E. coli. Read on to make sure your next salad is safe to eat and for another food recall that should be on your radar, check out if you have this milk in your fridge, you should get rid of it now. The recall notice applies to Tanimura, T-A-N. The print is so light. Like I said before, it's like they're afraid if they make it dark, it's going to cost them more. Does it? I don't think so. Anyway... Tana Mura and Antel, A N T L E, bagged single head romaine lettuce, and the E. coli was originally discovered during tests in the state of Michigan and traced to a Walmart in Comstock. The strain of E. coli found was. 0157 colon H7. One of the most likely strains of the bacteria to produce hemolytic uremic syndrome. Hemolytic uremic. That sounds like bleeding through your bladder. Not sure, but anyway, or HUS, a kind of kidney failure that can make E. coli fatal. So it does, it messes with your bladder, and most likely you'll bleed, bleed out in your urine. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, or the CDC, who cannot be trusted, by the way, 5 to 10% of patients with this strain of E. coli go on to develop HUS. The telltale symptoms are a decreased frequency of urination, extreme lethargy. All right, let me start that over. The telltale symptoms are a decreased frequency of urination. You don't have to go as often. Extreme lethargy, 
That's like being so sleepy, you just got to go to bed. And a loss of color in the cheeks and lower eyelids. Young children and elderly are most likely to develop HUS with long-term effects potentially being serious kidney damage and even death. The FDA advises if consumers are experiencing any of the above symptoms, please contact your physician. Walmart posted a list of all stores that had sold the lettuce spanning 19 states and Puerto Rico. It is believed that the recall applies to 3,396 packs of lettuce. Packaged in October on October 15 or October 16. Retailers and distributors can identify the potentially affected products through the Produce Traceability Initiative PTI sticker attached to the exterior of the case. The codes of the affected bags of lettuce are 5712-802-89-S as in Sam, R, S as in Sam, 1. Yeah, those are S's, not 5's. Okay. And 5712-802-90-S. R is in Robert, S is in Sam, and 1. Is that the same as the other one? 5712802. Oh, this was 289. This is 290SRS1. They all end, they both end in SRS1. All right, so. I'm going to put that in the, what? Consumers are advised to return the lettuce to the point of purchase for full refund or throw it away immediately. For a full list of states where the contaminated product was sold and contact details, visit FDA's website. And there's a link here you can click on. Read on for other items you may have at home that have been recalled recently and for another kind of product that's proven hazardous. Check out Target just recalled 122,500 pairs of shoes for this scary reason. Let me click on that. Let's tell you about the shoes while we're at it. All right. Those target boots you got your child or grandchild to keep them warm can present a choking hazard. Hmm. If you have little ones at home, you know how difficult it is to keep them from putting things in their mouth that don't belong there. But you probably didn't consider that the boots you bought to keep them warm as the temperatures drop could pose a choking hazard to your kids or grandkids. Unfortunately, Target, one of the largest retailers in America, has issued an urgent product recall notice on a popular pair of children's boots this week. The announcement came amid multiple reports that the toggle on the boots can detach from the elastic laces presenting a choking hazard once loose. Read on to see if your little ones has these boots and for more products you could have at home that are putting you in danger. Know that if you have this popular device at home you're at the risk of fire. All right, let's click on that while we're at it.
Close to 9,000 of these devices have been pulled from the market after multiple overheating reports. It says if you have this popular device at home, you're at risk of a fire. This is the most important one of all, if you ask me, although we don't want our kids choking on a toggle, do we? Exercise may be good for your health, but a popular product meant to accompany your fitness routine could be putting your safety in danger. On November 4th, the Consumer Product Safety Commission, or the CPSC, announced that a popular brand of fitness timer has just been recalled due to fire concerns. Read on to find out if yours is among them. And for more product recall news, oh, then it says, if you use this medication, you need to talk to your doctor now. Good grief, they just keep going on and on and on. Anyway, this device is says approximately 8,900 of Coulter, C-O-U-L-T-E-R, Ventures, Rogue Home Timers, have been recalled due to the risk they may catch fire. The $150 timers, which are used, stop it, do not tear up that rug, Jasper, Jasper, go away from there, come on, come on over here, go eat your dinner, baby, all right, the $150 timers, which are used to time exercise intervals, and measure workout duration were sold through Rogue Fitness websites between June 2019 and June 2020. According to the recall notice, the lithium-ion battery in the device can overheat and burn, leading to fires. Okay, so there you have that. All right, let's do this one more. If you use this medication, you need to talk to your doctor now. Patients nationwide have been warned to seek medical advice if they're taking these common pills. We all know the medicine we take can often cause side effects. Sometimes the pills used to make us feel better can actually be plain dangerous due to contamination, as is the case with a common diabetes medicine that was just recalled, period. Nostrum Laboratories, Inc., has announced that it voluntarily it is voluntarily recalling four lots of a diabetes medication that is that it produces. In a, okay, so if you have if you're on a diabetic medication, you need to click on this link that says it's lit up in red diabetes medication, okay? It says in a statement, the company warned that the tablets have been found to contain dangerously high levels of nitrosamine. Nitrosamine? Yeah, that's probably nitrosamine. Also known as NDMA, which is classified as a probable human carcinogen. Isn't that nice? Let's fix your diabetes and give you cancer while we're at it. A substance that may cause cancer. Read on to find out more in another recent recall that could be on your radar. Know that if you use this mouthwash, get rid of it right now. And now they go on to another one. Okay, so I'm just going to end it here. And you can read this. Click on the link. 
go to the article. You can skin, scam it, scan it <laughs> down to where it says, if you're using this mouthwash, click on that, and then you can arrow back and continue on with the, I don't know, whatever you want to do and find out more. Isn't that something, all these recalls? If it's not one thing, it's another. But we have to try to stay safe and inform others. You know, why else do they put it out there? There's a reason they don't want to be sued. So they put out voluntary recalls and hope nobody sues them. <gasps> anyway, I'm going to end this here and say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Oh, by the way, the day is Monday, November 9th, and it's 6, 10 p.m. Okay, bye for now. Talk to you 